I found 10 of the best online jobs from home that don't require any experience. And I can almost guarantee you that most of these jobs and the companies you can get the jobs at, you've never heard of before. So if you appreciate me doing all this hard work, go ahead and gently tap that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a beta reader. So have you ever wanted to be a secret influencer of your favorite author's next piece of work? Well, welcome to the mysterious world of beta readers. This is basically where you are a literary guardian guardian angel, swooping in to save a book from plot holes and pacing problems. That's right, beta readers review unpublished work, and they provide feedback to authors from the perspective of an average reader. So this is kind of like test driving a car before it goes to market. You're the first to take it for a spin, pointing out any bumps on the literary road. And in a world of aspiring writers and the ability to self-publish, beta readers play a crucial role in ensuring the quality of literature, and they help authors connect with their audience on a deeper level. And they get paid decently well to do this, usually around $20 per hour. Although if you work as a freelancer, you can make a lot more than that. Here are some websites and opportunities to get started. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video if you'd like. And overall, this one is pretty good if you're someone who's really into reading and writing. It's also a great way to help you get better at writing if you're someone who wants to be a famous author someday yourself. And it's relatively easy to get into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. So for those reasons, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next, is going to be an AI virtual assistant. And I know what you're thinking. How can I be an AI virtual assistant when I'm not AI? Well, in this role, your job is going to be using AI tools in order to solve complex problems. You'll also be mentoring fellow VAs, creating SOPs, and SOPs stand for standard operating procedures. And you'll be helping out the company's community with doing things like research, sharing ideas, and helping with organization. So you're kind of like a jack of all trades, but with an emphasis on using AI. AI in order to help out a company. Now, this is a relatively new career, but virtual assistants in general make about $41,000 to $68,000 a year. And you would expect to make more than that if you had an AI related skill set. So, overall, this one is really good. There's a lot of opportunity out there. It's still relatively new, so there's not like an established infrastructure for this. But with that being said, there's lots of people out there that are looking for other people who have these types of skill sets. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. By the way, comment down below either your favorite job that we go over in this video or comment other jobs that you'd like me to go over in future videos. Next is going to be a remote search analyst. And this is somebody who basically gets paid to comb through and scrutinize videos, photos, music, apps, and websites all day long. Now, does that sound like something you already do all day long? Well, then it might be a dream job for you. All you have to do is combine your love for social media with some analytical skills, and voila, you've got yourself a remote search analyst position. So basically, what you're gonna be doing in this position Position is analyzing and evaluating how accurate search functions are on different social media platforms. And this is done to improve the overall user experience. So basically, when you go to Instagram or YouTube or Facebook and you search something, hopefully the thing you search for is what actually pops up. But that's honestly a lot easier said than done. And so remote search analysts are kind of like the superheroes that are behind the scenes, making sure that that's what happens. And media search analysts make about 52 to 94,000 dollars a year. So there's another one of those roles where typically you do not need a college degree or previous experience. It does actually help if you're on the younger side. So they actually prefer to hire people who are on the younger side and typically don't have experience simply because they grew up using social media. So they kind of understand how it works on a deeper level and you can get paid pretty well to do it. So here are some opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen for you. You can check them out. And overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Now, by the way, this one would fall under the umbrella category of digital marketing. And digital marketing is basically how you market and sell stuff to people online. And it's by far the most popular and the most lucrative form of marketing. For instance, there was a 16 year old that I interviewed on the channel named James, who was able to get a full time income with a digital marketing job. And he was able to do it thanks to my friend Seth, who does have a free digital marketing masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Seth has helped thousands of people get into 
digital marketing. He literally has like hundreds of different testimonials of different people that he's helped. So definitely go ahead and check that out by clicking the link down in the description or the pinned comment below if you're interested. Next is going to be an organic social media specialist. Now, I think you know what a social media specialist is, but what's the difference between a social media specialist and an organic social media specialist? Well, social media specialists may rely on paid ads, whereas organic social media specialists rely on organic content. And organic content is basically what I'm posting right now, right? This video is an example of organic content. And it used to be that a lot of companies basically relied on paid online ads, but it's getting harder and harder for companies to be profitable with paid ads. And so more and more companies are starting to post organic content. And thus there is a huge demand for people who are organic social media specialists. And I really like this quote by Jay Bear, where he says, content is fire, social media is gasoline. And I really do think that social media and posting content online is without a doubt the number one opportunity right now for people to start a business. And organic social media specialists make 69 to $126,000 a year. So in order to succeed in this role, you probably want to specialize in a single platform because it's really hard to be an expert on all of the different platforms. However, it's not that difficult to be an expert on the platform that you personally use the most. I mean, think about it. You use it all the time. So you have a sort of sixth sense on what type of content would do well on the platform. And yeah, this can be a great opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and put some opportunities up on the screen for you. And I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're interested, I have helped a ton of people have success on YouTube. They've basically built channels that are making, in some cases, six figures per month. And I basically coach a small amount of people on how to do this. I'm very picky about who I coach because I only want to coach you if I think that you absolutely have a really good chance of success. And I only coach people who take it really seriously. But if you're interested, you can apply for my YouTube coaching by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a leisure travel consultant. And they're kind of like the matchmakers of the travel world. They connect clients with their dream destinations, planning everything from flights, accommodations, and even experiences. And companies in the travel and tourism industry are always on the lookout for these types of experts. And leisure travel consultants make about fifty six dollars to $90,000 a year. Now for this one, in order to get started, there are some companies that actually do prefer that you have have a college degree. Some of them may even want you to have a degree in the leisure or travel related field. However, there are a lot of companies out there that do not require a college degree. And all they care about is that you have expertise on particular areas around the world. So for instance, if you live in a particular area that a lot of people like to travel to, and you know, all the good restaurants, you know, the good hotels, you know, the good experiences, this could be a phenomenal opportunity for you. So this one can be a little bit harder to land than some of the other ones on the list. You do have to have expertise in certain certain areas, but it's a really good one. And also from self reports online, it's also a job that people really enjoy. So here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a crypto or finance writer. And this would basically involve any type of writing for industries where there's a ton of money to make. So high ticket type industries. And of course, crypto and finance do fall under that category. So you would basically be creating all different types of content content about crypto or finance. And you'd often be analyzing trends, explaining complex topics and reporting on market developments. And there's a really cool story I saw on YouTube about Jessica who became a freelance finance writer and digital nomad with no experience. So this is one of those jobs where you can do it from anywhere in the world very easily. And really all they care about is your expertise in either crypto or finance and your writing ability. So if you're someone who's already really passionate about crypto or finance, and you also like writing, this could be a phenomenal opportunity for you. And financial writers make about 73 to $113,000 a year. So here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is going to be a scheduler. Now this is a pretty broad job, but basically what you're going to be doing is scheduling things. So it's kind of going to be a logistics related job. So you're going to be responsible for coordinating and organizing appointments, meetings and events. And this position is basically the backbone of industries like healthcare, logistics, manufacturing and others. There's a really cool video I saw in the day of a life of a scheduling coordinator if you want to check this type of job out and schedulers make about 39 to $59,000 a year year. So this is one of those roles where it's not super high paying, but it's extremely easy to get into does not require a college degree or previous experience in most cases. And by the way, guys, sometimes I'll get comments in the uh, comment section down below about how some of these jobs say that they require experience. 
trust me, any jobs that I put on these videos, if they say they require experience, just apply anyways, even if you don't have experience, okay? This silly game that companies play where, you know, it's an entry level job, but it requires two years of experience, just ignore it, okay? Apply anyways, and it's gonna work out a lot of the time. And I know this from data because I've helped a ton of people get jobs. But anyways, back to the scheduling position, this is gonna be especially good for you if you are really good at organization and you have good time management skills. So overall, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you think of somebody else who could get some value from a video like this, maybe it's a friend, a family member, or someone who just needs to get a job, go ahead and share this video with them. Next is going to be a remote call center specialist. Now, I know you've probably heard of this one a million times, but it is actually one of the easiest jobs to land, pretty much never gonna be able to be automated by AI. And once you get some experience here, get your foot in the door working remote, it's gonna be so much easier for you to get into better, higher paying jobs. So for a lot of people, this is kind of just a rite of passage. And basically you're gonna be helping people out, usually customers of a company with issues that they're having using the product or service. And call center specialists make about 38 to $45,000 a year. So I can't tell you how many people I've met where their first ever remote job was some sort of customer service related job. And there's a reason for that because it's extremely easy to land these types of jobs. Is it something you wanna do for the rest of your life? Probably not. Is it something where it's easy to get your foot in the door, land your first remote job and start making money? Yes. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote data coordinator. And in the age of data-driven decision-making, remote data coordinators are the wizards who ensure that businesses have the right information at their fingertips. So some interesting facts here are 2.5 quintillion bytes worth of data is generated each day. And a great quote that I like about the data industry in general is, the goal is to turn data into information and information into insights, right? So all this data is being generated every day and you need to turn that data into information and then you need to glean some sort of insight from that information. And as you probably know, data is incredibly valuable. It's more valuable than oil or gold. And that's why in this position, you make about 45 to $68,000 a year, even though it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Now you can definitely help yourself out when it comes to landing these types of jobs by taking different certificates, certifications, and training programs. Programs. Examples of platforms that offer these are my favorite, which is Coursera, also edX and Udacity, as well as Udemy. And of course, you need to be extremely familiar with Excel and also being familiar with Google Sheets helps too. But overall, this one is really good. Anything data related is incredibly valuable. And this is one where you can get your foot in the door at a lower level, and then you can rise up to higher level roles. And usually if you try to go for the higher level roles right away, you are going to need to have a bachelor's degree in some something like computer science or statistics. But if you start off at the lower level roles and then just educate yourself and keep moving up through the company and prove yourself while you're working, then you don't have to get the bachelor's degree. Really a lot smarter to kind of just start off with the lower level roles in my opinion. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a legal intake specialist. And this is kind of like being a legal gatekeeper for a law firm, minus the law degree and the courtroom drama. Basically, you play a pivotal role in a legal team and you are the first voice of reason that clients hear when they contact a law office. And basically what you do is conduct initial assessments of legal cases and you gather essential information from clients, which helps law firms and legal services properly evaluate cases. There's day in the life videos of legal intake specialists on YouTube and they make around 39 to $54,000 a year. So in this role, you need to have excellent communication skills, attention to detail, and a basic understanding of legal terminology. Now, you definitely do not need a college degree or previous experience in most cases. In fact, many employers will actually offer on-the-job training, and there's lots of opportunities for these types of roles. So here are some. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did a video on 21 of the highest-paying work-from-home jobs, and you can check that out by clicking right here.